was uh, organizational behavior and we just met four times throughout the term um, and I don't learn very well in traditional lectures so either I'll go to them and I won't get much out of them and then I'll have to learn by myself um, elsewhere um, or I just won't go and then I feel like I'm kind of missing out on my education that sort of thing so um, this provided an opportunity where it was just a few times um, and then aside from that we learned kind of independently uh, and that was for me it's not for everybody but for me that was just um, a much more sensible way to, to study that material. So, I don't think that the entire university should go to flexible learning because I think different people learn different ways. Um, but I think for myself who learns better in self-study or for people who learn much better interacting with others, it makes a lot of sense. Um, so other, other faculties offering flexible learning formats I think would be really beneficial to give people more options. We learned about evolution and genetics. So pretty much the way that the course ran was that at home we would be assigned readings from the textbook and she would, my professor would provide us with resources such as videos or pencast or quizzes that we could do at home. And this would be before class. And then during the class we would take the information that we learned and we would go through exercises that were very exam style. So this could be in the form of quizzes or coming together in groups and working on the different worksheets and then we would discuss about them. So that's essentially how the classes always ran. So pretty much we would learn the material at home and practice it in the class. When it came to exams and being tested, I felt it was a lot easier to show what I knew because in classes, we were taught how we should think about questions. If the right resources are provided, it's relatively straightforward for a university student to learn the material on their own. And doing exercise in, in class really helps when it comes to examination. So I feel like more of this would be extremely beneficial. So my experience was really positive with the course. I really liked that it was group-based. Um, I really got to like know my peers in that way, and I really liked how it worked with an organization to actually like be a lot more practical than a lot of other academic courses. Um, in the end, I actually ended up taking one of our projects to a conference in Vienna, so that was really fun. The project was for the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty Organization, which was the organization the course had partnered with. Um, and it was basically coming up with a way that the CTBTO, as its acronym is, um, could reach out to like future generations. So our group created a website, an interactive map, and then that's what we ended up taking uh, to the conference. Definitely helped me, like I ended up going to Japan um, this past February based on kind of connections that the campaign made with like Japanese students. I definitely like to see more of group-based learning and like flipped classroom learning. I thought it was really valuable to have students from so many different faculties and departments come together because it really like gave students an opportunity to work in a setting that was really like real and based on real world, world scenarios. Um, and I also really liked that they partnered with an organization because they like allowed students to really feel the tangible benefits of their degree and their university experience. I think the value of this course is that it allows you to become more of an engaged citizen outside the classroom. It kind of prepares you for outside the classroom work that you would do in the real world. For me at least, it was, you see, that is really not about yourself and your own learning, like how it benefits you, but how you, the learning, the things that you learn will benefit the community. It has made me realize that things aren't, they're more complicated than it seems, and that I should be humble myself in going and kind of tackling through these issues and these um, the things that the communities are dealing with. It also has made me value um, really trying to understand the perspective of other people. Um, I seek to understand before being, trying to be understood myself. Um, so really, is, I think these courses, like the material definitely is really important. And it teaches things like the, I guess, hard skills or hard knowledge. But I think what I'm taking from this, the, more of the soft skills or the, the values that I've gained. We've seen the age of the flipped classroom. And um, the TLEF 
um, fund as well as other funding sources on campus had um, very much committed to supporting faculty members um, and departments and courses to engage in a flipped, a flipped classroom exercise. And, and I think we've been there and that's great, but that should now be um, the norm and there should be funds set aside and support from faculties to do that. I think we've moved to a place where we're seeing um, faculty actually think about the way in which students learn and flexibility in assessment and in teaching practices um, and in engagement with course material. And so I think that where we're moving to and where we should actually see a lot more of our funds being, being allocated is in thinking about the student and teaching and learning experience. I'd like to see more um, of an engagement with um, open pedagogy and open educational resources. Uh, I think it's this whole untapped um, place for a lot of departments and a lot of faculty members where there's a lot of ability to not only um, save students money but really make a positive shift in pedagogy and, and have uh, students actually engage with course material in a more profound way.